Hello Forex traders, hope you all are well. I am an official member of Forex PD. Today we will discuss about emotion versus reality in Forex. Many of us become emotional when we come to real trading, which is harmful to our Forex career. How does this emotion harm? We will discuss in today's video. So watch the video till the end. I hope it will be helpful to you and those who don't subscribe our forex bd please subscribe and click the bell icon for never miss any update first of all how do emotion harm in forex trading suppose you run a business will the monthly profit of that business always be the same the answer is never same in forex you will make a profit every day or your strategy will work 80 percent or 100 percent but not like that like a business so if one day the profit is low, you become very emotional and suddenly you increase the lot size. But that's not right. Thought that the market has gone up a lot, it will go down. Or it has gone down, it will be up. Then you placing order buy or sell without any strategy. It's not good. You will face loss. You make a profit of $10. Then you take another trade but you face loss of $20. That's why you are taking trade continuously and facing loss or profit. You didn't follow money management, you didn't follow risk ratio and you did not know why you are trading. In this way there is nothing but loss because you don't know why you have taken the trade. Which trade will come in your favor and which will go against you, you don't know. Suddenly you increase the lot size and that trade went against you then you lost the whole balance. Then emotionally you will say goodbye to forex trading through Facebook and social media because it's not possible for you to deposit once again. But in the beginning you did not control your emotion and by wrong trading you harmed yourself in the hope of more profit and become rich in a short time. If the profit of a business is low, does the owner sell the product at a lower price? No, never sell by lowering the price, unless it's a perishable goods. Price are reduced only if there is a possibility of date over, otherwise the price of the product is never reduced, unless the product is perishable or the expiration date is approaching. He tries to stay calm in his decision, patiently and wait for a better time and that waiting and patience made him more profitable. So why do you trade unnecessarily by suddenly increase the lot size to make profit when the profit is low? Remember, Forex is forever. This is not few days business. So you are increasing the lot size to make a profit of just two or four dollar more and you are losing the whole balance. If you did not covet those two or four dollar and maintain money management, you could earn even a small amount and you could keep your balance right. If you was not ready for two or four dollar, would you lose the whole balance? This is my question to you. Remember, especially when our profit are low, when the trade is not in our favor, we become very emotional and increase the lot size to return those loss, which should not be done. This is not gambling that you lost one match so you increase the money and bet again so that you can recover your loss. Remember that if you do this there will be nothing but loss in forex. I say again this is not gambling that you lost one match so you increase the money and bet again so that you can recover your loss. If you have to recover your loss then increase the profit ratio. Increase the profit ratio of the trade that comes in profit. Like if you used to keep the profit ratio of 1 is to 1, then make it 1 is to 2 or 1 is to 3, then you will be able to recover your last loss. But if you suddenly increase the lot size to recover your loss and leave it over your luck, then there will be no profit because you must follow money management if you want to survive in Forex because money management is the heart of forex. I say again, money management is the heart of forex. If it's not necessary, it would never call money management is the heart of forex. The most important part of forex is money management, risk management and most importantly trade management. 
but we are very passionate and dream of earning $200 in a week or month by depositing $100, which is totally foolish. I discussed earlier that you can never earn $1 lakh in a month by depositing $1 lakh. Same in Forex. Please be practical. You are doing currency business in Forex. Look at Forex as a business. It's not possible to earn $1 lakh in a month by depositing $1 lakh in a business. Same in Forex. It's never possible to earn $100 in a month if you deposit $100. You should earn less than 20% of your balance. Remember, the more you want, the more you loss. You will be ready for $2 or $3 and you will lose the whole balance. Now you judge, which one will you do? Of course, you don't want to lose your balance. So you must maintain money management, learn to control your emotion because a small mistake in Forex can destroy your whole balance. That mistake cannot be corrected. Set a goal by controlling your emotion and your greedy and make a plan that you will trade a specific amount in a day or week or month and expect 10%, 50% or 20% profit of your deposit because over trading is harmful to forex trader so trade a certain amount in a day or week follow money management plan for a at least three years i say again plan for a at least three years surely you will get the answer when the time is comes why forex bd told you to do long time plan for gaining profit you have to choose a good broker house because they have much spread and fee in market maker broker house you will finish yourself by paying their fee and spread. So create your account in good broker. We suggest some broker. First one is IC Market, the true ECN. Second one is Tickmill, they have zero spread. Third one is Light Forex, a right broker in Forex market. In three account, verification system are same. So you can upload your document in three account. Which broker approve your account first, you should deposit on that account. Good broker's policy is also good, so you need to verify first. Verify your account by your document. For your account safety, you have to create your account with strong reference. If you create your account by ForexBD's link, you will get benefit. ForexBD can help you if you face any problem. If you create your skill and Nadalar account by ForexBD's link, you can verify your account without any deposit. There will be less transfer fee. So create your any types of account by ForexBD's link. Those who want Forex related English video, they can go to playlist. There have a playlist where all video in English. You will get all link in video description. I hope this video will help you to your forex career. So viewers, if you like this video, please subscribe and click the bell icon for never miss any update. Like, comment and share this video. If you have any request, write down in comment box. Forex video obviously try to fulfill your request. So be safe, be healthy, be with us. Goodbye. Tata.